and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're catching one of my videos, hi, hello there, welcome. So today you are catching me basically during a panic video because I have been trying so hard to finish this giant baby blanket. I have been working on this in my last few videos because I have a baby shower coming up for my future nephew. I have been working basically non-stop on this. I'm ready for it to be done. I want it over so I can just work on other projects that I've had on my mind. So basically for the next 24 hours I'm going to be crocheting and solely working on this project hoping to basically just finish it because I want it done. <laughs> I am currently on the very last section of the blanket. I started the last black section the other day so, whew, okay, <laughs> this is the blanket so far, it is quite big, um, and basically all that I have left to do is this last black section, and for this blanket let's talk materials, I am using Karen Simply Soft, also using a size G or 6 crochet hook, yeah. <laughs> So I started the last section of my blanket the other day and each section is approximately 50 rows each of single crochet. On my last section I've already done about 10 rows, it's in black so it's a little bit hard to see but I'm pretty sure I've done about 10 rows so far which means, simple math, I have 40 rows left. So I am planning on splitting the 24 hours into four sections of crochet, I guess, spurts. So that way I can really hone in and focus. And I will be taking some breaks just to relieve my wrists. And I am going to be just reading, watching TV, you know, normal stuff. So um, that is the plan. First though, I am going to get changed into cozy clothes. I'm going to move on to the couch and get started. Okay everyone, so it is Friday. I just finished work. It is, it is 5.20. So I'm officially going to start my 24 hour countdown. I have my blanket, my crochet hook, and I actually think I'm going to, partially because I'm curious, but I think I'm going to actually time how long it takes me to do one row so I can gauge how much time this is going to take me and how um, how I should kind of plan out my breaks. So I'm actually going to start a timer just to see how long it takes me. So I'm going to start my stopwatch and complete a row and we'll see how long it takes me to do one row. So I'm going to hit go about five minutes and 20 seconds to do one row. I'm honestly not sure if that's good or bad. <laughs> I'm gonna round up to six minutes, just in case, I don't know, I feel like it's better to round up. So if it takes me six minutes to do one row, and I have, I think I said 40 rows left, it should take me about an hour to do each like little crochet spurt that I want to do so I think I'm gonna set a timer for an hour and see how much crocheting I get done and see where we're at at that point and then reconvene after an hour <laughs> 
I also forgot that I need to move my little stitch marker. So I'm gonna move them up to the row I just did. Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> seven minutes um and i only got one row done because i spent a good chunk of time just watching a youtuber bash the last book in the twilight series <laughs> so um not off to a great start Um, I took a little bit of a break. I read some Lord of the Rings and I am currently on page 199. I am a little bit surprised that my wrist was hurting so quickly into this challenge that I set for myself, but um, I was knitting a little bit earlier today on a sock, which probably wasn't the best idea knowing that I would be crocheting for the next 24 hours, but you live and you learn. I am ready to start crocheting again. This is where I'm at in the skein. It's starting to get a little floopy. officially finished another set of 10 rows and this is my progress for today from this little stitch marker all the way up to the top. Um, I'm getting a little sleepy and my wrist is hurting so I'm definitely stopping here for tonight. I'm going to sit and read and go to bed and I will be back tomorrow. Okay, so it is the next day. It is Saturday at 12 17. So basically it is noon and I haven't worked on my blanket yet and I have like five hours to finish it, five or six. So I'm gonna try to get as much of this done as I can in one sitting because I only have like five or six hours left. So I really wanna make sure I give myself enough time to weave in ends and make the tassels for the blankets. For this sitting, I'm just gonna go as long as I can crocheting and we'll see how far I get. Moved my little stitch marker.
just finished and I literally have that much yarn left. Okay, we did it. All right, great. That was wonderful. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, time to weave in ends. Let's do it. So I'm gonna weave in my ends of my blanket and also make my tassels for the four corners. So I have my little tapestry needle, my giant crochet hook, and some scissors. So first I'm going to weave in ends, which is my least favorite part of any project. Okay everyone, so I just finished my blanket and it is 250. So it's 250, which means that I finished my blanket with two hours, two and a half hours to spare, which is awesome. So here it is. My finished blanket, tassels included, and I love it. It is perfect. It is quite large. Um Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> I ended up going with black tassels and I really like how it turned out. I went with just a simple like mod block coloring. So just black, blue, black, blue. And yeah, I really liked how it turned out. I am very happy with it. I just measured the blanket. The finished measurements are about 30 by 40 inches. So it's a perfect like stroller size uh, blanket. And the best part about it is if I ever wanted to add to the length, I can just pick up another blue skein and single crochet all the way through. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. If you are still watching and made it this far, thank you so much. And leave a emoji in the comments and let me know what you're working on. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.